So different kinds of uh, economy, all right? You have primary sector, secondary sector, tertiary sector. Uh, we look at different types of uh, organization, different types of businesses, maybe private sector, public sector, and uh, third sector. We have different kinds of organization. Right? We have sole proprietorship, we have private limited companies, we have public limited companies. And then you have public sector procurement, its objectives, private sector procurement, its objectives, third sector procurement, its objectives, and the influence of, uh, of, of these uh, uh, objectives on the procurement function. So that's that in short is the, is the topic. So sectors, I remember if you look, think back of your economics, uh, economics class or uh, to class, you know that we can divide the sectors into uh, different types of sectors. And you can you can divide an organization by by ownership, which is uh, owned by public, owned by private. You can divide by objectives, for profit, not for profit. You can divide by industry sectors. Some industries in, is in the raw material, mining, some are in production, some are in services, some are in retails, uh, some are in manufacturing, some are in banking, some are in construction. You can, you can divide uh, by size, small, medium, large, or micro, small, medium, large, uh, multinational companies by sectors. And if you look at the different types of uh, sectors, you have public sector. Public sector, as the name suggests, is owned and controlled by the public or by the government. The purpose of any public sector is to provide the general public with the services that are basically to uplift their well being and uh, lifestyle. That is the objective of any government to uh, raise the standard of living for its. Uh, for its citizens or residents. They are generally structured for public uh, good rather than profit itself. Right. So generally the public sector are for uh, serving the public. Private sector on the other hand is owned by individuals or enterprises. Uh, of course they range from small, it can be a mom and pop shop or it can be a small, uh, what do you call it, uh, street side vendor. It can be a large multinational. They're all privately owned, owned by the private individuals. Uh, like I said, range from small to giant. And then third sector. Third sector is also called not-for-profit sector. They are generally established for a cause, a social cause, a environmental uh, cause, a cultural cause, a political cause, right? political Parties are also seen as the third sector. Aim is not to make profit, obviously, but to serve the cause for which they have been set up. Right? So for example, if a, a, a organization is set up for taking care of the visually handicapped, their objective would be to serve their so-called uh, uh, beneficiaries. Some organization is for setting up maybe uh, child welfare. So they would be looking at children welfare as their objective. So very clear distinction in the three types of uh, organization. Public sector, for the good of the people. Private sector, obviously money, profit. Third sector, for a cause, for a cause. Objective, not for profit. So public sector, different kinds of public sector. You may have hospital, school, you can have maybe uh, military, defense, civil defense, internal defense, emergency services, and many, many, many more. Right? Generally funded by taxes, direct tax, indirect tax, income tax, GST, stamp duties, uh, commodity taxes, fines, alcohol tax, tobacco, tax on vehicle, uh, tax taken from salary income tax, tax taken from business profit, corporate tax, and then consumption tax, GST. Right. These are some of the ways by which 
uh, money is collected to fund the public good. Right? Now, if you look at the public sector as compared to private sector, and if you look at the stakeholders for public sector and stakeholder for the private sector, if I'm a private sector, which has set up maybe an automotive industry, automotive, maybe I set up an automotive plant. I have my stakeholders, right? I have my stakeholders, but these stakeholders are limited to this particular industry, the suppliers, the customers, the distribution channel partners, the workers, the managers, all limited to that. Similarly, I may have maybe aviation, the stakeholders limited to that. But for public sector, for public sector, since it's the, they serve the public good, almost everybody is a stakeholder. As long as you are a resident or the citizen of that country, you are the stakeholder for the government. Right? They have to take care of your interests. What you do impacts them, what they do impacts you. So you, you may be a small child just born in the, uh, a child born in the hospital to a, to a elderly person in an old age home. The stakeholder range is much, much, much broader compared to any private sector. So their responsibilities and accountabilities are much more wider compared to a private sector. That's why the, the accountabilities of public sector procurement officer is very, very large. Private sector on the other hand have limited uh, group of stakeholders. They just have to take care of those limited number of stakeholders. They don't have to worry about other. Third sector also the same thing. If I'm the if I've set up for protection of animal, I just take care of protection of animal. I don't take care of anything else. My limited, I'm limited by that particular objective for which I have set up. Whereas public sector is is, is much diverse. Private sector, you can have sole trader. No, I can set up a company and start running a company. I can set up a small coffee shop. By the roadside, I can set up a large restaurant. Single person setting up a business is a sole trader. You can have a partnership, group of people coming together, each one contributing their expertise, set up a partnership. In Singapore, in most countries, you can have a total of 20 partners, not more than 20, maximum 20. They will bring in their expertise. So if I'm a legal firm, for example, that will be a partnership firm. If I'm a network of clinic, then it will be a partnership kind of thing. If I'm an accounting firm, then it will be kind of partnership. Uh, consulting companies also work on partnerships. And then you have private limited companies. Private limited companies are companies in which the shareholders' shares are held in private. So maybe, uh, two, two, two or more people come together, they put money in a company right? and it is registered as a, as a, as a registrar of, at the registrar of companies and uh, the shares are held privately by the group of people. The difference between sole trader, partner and uh, part, private limited is in sole trader, the, the owner is personally liable for all the debts. The, there is no distinction between company and owner. They are, they are both the same. Whereas private limited company, the company has a life of its own. The accountabilities and liabilities are for the company. In sole trader, the liabilities are the owner's liabilities. Partnership, it's also owner's liabilities. Whereas in private limited company, the liability is not of the owner, but of the company. And the liability is limited. That's why it's limited. Liability is limited to the extent of capital set up, uh, put in to set up the company. You know, if it's a hundred thousand uh, dollars paid up capital, that is the liability of the company. Public limited company on the other hand, are shares held by the public and traded in the market. 
So I may be trading in Singapore stock market or NASDAQ or Dow Jones or in Chittagong or Dhaka or wherever, India, uh, as long as it is traded publicly because the shares have been issued to the public and the public can trade at a trading platform. Right? Those are public limited companies. The difference between the two is- <clears throat> Yeah. Sir, uh, uh, which company is owned by government? Uh, what no. kind of name of the public, company? Public sector companies. Uh, public sector. Yeah, owned by the government. That is public sector, public company. Yeah. Oh, yes. Right. Private sector companies, the objectives are very clear make money, make profit, increase market share, increase revenue, increase shareholder value. Now they talk about sustainability, corporate social responsibilities. These are some of the objectives, branding, reputation. These are some of the objectives of a private sector organization. Third sector, like I said, the objective is to raise awareness for a cause. Each one will have a different cost. They lobby for the cost. They raise funds for the cost. They provide aid and services to the public or to the specific beneficiary. Right. They mobilize members of the public to contribute to the, to the working of this uh, third sector. They, they focus, they work, work through volunteers. They work through donations. They work through contributions. So if you look at the third sector, the goal is to provide support and improvement in the area of activity that they've chosen. Each one is set up for certain purpose. Right? Inclusion, all stakeholders are listened to because it's run by uh, uh, members, it's run by, uh, it's operated and run through the services of the volunteers. All stakeholders are listened to and involved. Agreement and action may take a longer time because remember, people work on a part-time volunteer basis. And there are a lot of people who need to be brought along. Resources are limited because uh, again, it depends on the kind of people involved, usually volunteers. Sir, sir, I, sir I, I, some disturb please. Uh, what is third sector? I'm missing something. I can't understand the third, third sector. sector is, not for profit sector like NGO, non governmental organization, uh, trade union, they all come under uh, third sector. Uh, third sector is neither private sector nor public sector. Right? Third sector. So if you look at companies like World Vision, World Wildlife Fund, uh, political parties, uh, cultural parties, social parties, Red Cross. Who? who? All those are uh, who? Uh, third party, third sector. Who also included in third party? Come again. Who also included in third party? NGO, trade union, all right. political uh, parties. All these are uh, part of the third sector. Voluntary organization. CIPS is also seen as uh, third sector. Anything whose, whose objective is not for profit, but to serve a cause. Societies is the third sector. Ambience. WHO, World, World Health Organization also included here, I think. Which one? World Health Organization, who? World Health Organization is not seen as third sector because that's a, that's a United Nation organization. Uh, we don't classify World Health Organization as a third sector. That's, an, that's a body, that's an agency. Right? So we don't, we don't classify it as a third sector. So the world, world, world is world, a private sector. Which one? World, world WHO, it's a private sector or? No, it's a, it's a Agency of the United Nation. United Nation is is not classified as uh, uh, as as third sector. 
uh, then what is it uh, as classified as can you can can someone just check how to i'm not so sure i really have no idea mm -hmm. uh, can someone check it i don't think it can be classified as a third sector uh, as much as far as i would know mm -hmm. you're you're talking about a company called who you can also talk about unesco in the same is unesco a third sector I, I have not had that discussion before. So somebody will have to find out. Or I can find out and let you know next week. Save the children, UNICEF, are those third sector? Or... Come again? Save the children, UNICEF. Save the children, yeah. Any, any non-governmental organization. Uh, save the children, uh, maybe a lot of organization right that work for certain cause as long as you're working set up for a cause spca which is uh, protection for uh, against cruelty of animal there can be children welfare societies there can be uh, handicapped welfare society they all are set up for a cause those are third sector obviously the difference between third sector and other sector, one critical difference is they are dependent on donation. And the donors are not generally the beneficiaries. For example, you may donate to some child welfare organization, but you're not going to benefit from that donation. Whereas in public sector, private sector, when you pay the tax, you get the benefit. When in private sector, when you, uh, yeah, intergovernmental organization. Thanks so much. If for, for private sector, when you pay something, you get the benefit of the goods and services. Whereas in, in, in third sector, when you, when you make a donation, you're not going to get the benefit of it. You're donating for a cause. Ambient generally relax because everybody is there with the same mindset because they are there to help the cause. So generally uh, more relaxed compared to any other organization where there's a lot of bottom line to meet. Yeah, this is a difference. Please, you need to remember sometimes there might be a question on differences between uh, public sector, private sector, and third sector. Sometimes governments, even though they, they may be owned by the government, the government can sometimes sell some part of their holding to the public. Right? You may have, let's say British Rail was 100% owned by the government. Then government did some divestment and made the British Rail a private sector, but still either they 100% divest or they divest a small portion and retain some of it. So they become what we call government linked companies, a government linked company. Uh, like we discussed, remember funded by taxes, investment donations, objective, this is very important, objective. Objective is to make profit here, objective is to improve the quality of life of people. This is for a sole cause. This is uh, run by government. This is by management of the organization. This is by mostly volunteers, but some employees also. Employee benefits in the public sector, you have job security, you have pension. Private sector, you get competitive salary because it's market driven, bonuses, maybe some pension also. Third sector, the employee benefit is not much. Generally, it is helping the cause. So everyone kind of volunteers. So if you if you're looking to make a career in third sector, not the place to make a career. But if you want to uh, give give to the society, then that is the place to work. So for third sector here, employee means uh, employee of the third sector or private or public sector either. No, employee of the third sector. Okay. They, they have employees also, right? You, you will have some person doing something. But the salary will not be as much as private sector. Industry sectors, you can divide industry into three types. Primary. Primary industry is the industry that is in extraction. You are extracting raw material. You are extracting uh, maybe things like oil, coal, 
iron ore fishing agriculture these are private sector uh, primary sector the output of the primary sector is processed in a secondary sector so you you grow sugar cane then you harvest sugar cane convert to sugar that is a secondary sector you mine maybe iron ore you convert to maybe steel sheets you take harvest fish convert to maybe some fish product right that happens in the secondary sector it takes the output of the primary sector and converts to some uh, some value added in the secondary sector manufacturing construction those are all part of the secondary sector tertiary sector is the service sector like bank retail logistics education uh, insurance professional services accounting services and so on. so this is the journey all products follow the same journey you take the pen you take coca cola you take diamond you take anything it will be mined convert into jewelry jewelry is then dispatched to the retail then consumers buy it in a shop or somewhere similarly for coca cola water bauxite gets converted to can drink packed together there you have sent to the retail in the retail the customer will buy so all product journey through the three sectors so some of the examples here we discussed this before also education medical housing uh, social housing of course private sector also does education medical and social housing right but here their objective is not to make money when private sector is doing education when private sector is doing medical when private education is private sector is doing housing they are there to make money their objective is for profit so mining quarrying oil extraction agriculture all these are some examples of uh, uh, sector third sector social enterprise charities cooperatives uh, political parties also are called as third sector they also they don't manufacture anything part of the tertiary sector 